Okay, time to make the buttons for our website. And this is not in the Rich Soup. I'm going to go off of his tutorials. I mean, uh, I'm going to go solo here. And this is my own stuff. And then, of course, we'll work back into his stuff, and then we'll integrate and change and whatever. But I thought you should know how to do this uh, before we go into the other stuff that he's doing. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to need a new layer for our buttons. So right above the content, right, so below the actions, below frame labels, I'm going to go to the content layer. And maybe I'm even going to go below that. I'll go to the logo layer right there. And I'm going to make a new layer. So that goes right above logo. And I'm going to call this new layer buttons. So right now we've got a fairly complex movie already if you, if you look at this. We've got our um, background which has two layers in it in a folder. Then we've got sprites, right? This sprite, uh, one sprite, the paper sprite, the logo sprite, all animating. Then a buttons layer, content for our text, frame labels, and actions. So we're already getting rolling here. And what I want to do is I want to have um, these buttons show up right, let's say, here. So once the Yellowstone logo comes into play, Okay, that's where we want um, maybe the buttons to show. Well, the buttons could show up. Yeah, no, right there. I've got an empty keyframe right here for some action script, so I'm going to have the buttons show up right there. So right here on the buttons layer, I'm going to put a keyframe, F6 to insert a keyframe right there. And these buttons are going to, I'm just going to line them up right here on the left, and I think I need to make them, well, I'm going to make them text buttons to start with. All right. And when I do that, I'll be able to teach a few things. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to lock all my layers except for the buttons layer. That way I know I don't mess up. Okay. And I'm going to move this up a little bit we don't, so we can see more. Okay. And so the buttons are going to go right here. So I'll get my text tool, and I'll type home, okay? And maybe for the f color, I will grab a color from here. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, there it is. There's the word home. And it's I don't think it's bright enough. So I'll just go here and go to this and then slide this up and that'll brighten it up a bit. Click OK and now the word home is a little bit brighter. OK and maybe what I'll do is is I'll also add a filter to it like a glow. Let's see here maybe glowing white. No, that's no good. How about glowing black? Yeah, that's good. Make it a little bit bigger. Maybe glow is no good. Maybe I'll go instead with a drop shadow. Okay, that looks good. Okay, and it's the word home. Now I'm going to go back to the property window, and it's size 50. That's fine. There's the word home. And now I'm going to need um, some other words, too. So I'll just copy, paste and paste. That's control C, control V. Notice if I hover perfectly. Home and control V, paste again and put that there. And then maybe I could just line these all up. And I'm all set. All right, I'll continue in the next movie.